Chanel Hooper here. I just wanted to give you a quick six to eight week update now of our Stoic screen. We've been using it and we are still completely loving it. Um, some of the features that we love about it is this exterior um, part of it is a powder coated aluminum. So there's actually, it can't rust. And we can speak for that. It still looks fantastic. There's no rust spots. It cleans really well. We're super happy with it. Another feature that we've really been loving about it is the screen. It has an anti-microbial um, coating on it. And so we haven't noticed any mold or mildew or anything like that. And when we're done showering, it has a built-in squeegee on the inside um, of this retractable area where it goes. And it has some weep holes down at the bottom. So the water actually comes back into the shower drain part, which is amazing. Um, another feature that we've loved about it is the entryway is huge. It feels like we have so much more space in here. So our glass doors came to about here before. So we noticed that we have about 90% more room with the Stoet screen versus the glass doors where we noticed we had about 60% 60 um, of an entry into the shower. So we're really loving that feature as well. Um, the ease of traveling is also fantastic. We don't have to worry about locking the glass doors up anymore and having them unlock during travel and shift around. And it's so much lighter. Like our glass doors weighed around 50 pounds. This Stoet screen weighs five pounds. So tons of really awesome features that we're absolutely loving and we definitely recommend this product. Hey guys, Janelle here from Home with the Hoopers. Welcome to our bathroom, the place in the house that I dread cleaning the most. It is the smallest space, but it also gets the dirtiest the quickest. So I'm gonna bring you in here and show you the part of this area that I hate cleaning the most. This is our shower, and this is a standard shower that comes in the RVs. It has the sliding glass doors. With the shower comes the track. And it is, we let it get extra dirty and gross so you can kind of get the full effect here. It is a nightmare to clean, just a nightmare. So I'm gonna bring you through the process of cleaning it and some updates that we are doing to improve this. Can we clean? Yeah. All right, what do we need first? Um. Sponge? Sponge. And soap? Uh-huh. Okay, let's go. Share with me. All right, so my two favorite soaps that I use to clean, let's see here. We got Thieves, and this is Young Living, the Thieves Cleaner. And then I also like this Dr. Bonner's Castile Soap. They do a great job. I just dilute them both. And that's all I really use to do all of our cleaning around here. You clean. All right, well after the clean, so you can see how much better it is, all that gunk and grime is out, but it takes work. So the two things that I use mainly are the kitchen sponge. It fits in the grooves perfectly like this. So you can just run it like this and clean it. And then I also use a, this is new because I threw my elbow away before I thought about showing you guys. Just a toothbrush and it really helps clean in these grooves and just really get in there and get a good, wow. nice clean. You got a new package in. Let's see what's in there. This hopefully fixes all of mama's, all of mama's fun this thing. Sure. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Hi. It'll help her. All right, so we don't really know what's in here yet, but we're going to take a look. We have the should just be all the all the workings for the for the new shower enclosure, the new shower door. It's so, okay. so nice. Look that color. are all online but we'll keep you keep you involved in the process as we take down the old one and put up the new one this is the stow it 
Industries retractable shower door. So once you get it set instead of the glass doors that we have. So anyway, we need to make sure everything's here, double check, and then we'll start ripping out the old one. All right, so first thing we probably need to do is we need to cut all this caulk. All right, so not only are we removing this door because of the track, but weight, everything is about weight in a camper. Um, and this particular door weighs substantially more than the other one. I'll give you the specs uh, at the end once we get everything out. But we're excited to not only get rid of the nasty track at the bottom, but also get rid of the weight. take a shower without getting any water anywhere? Is that a deal? My original proposition was a shower curtain, but we figured with these two, we would still end up with water everywhere. So this part should be relatively self-explanatory. All we're doing is taking out all the screws for these tracks. So we can remove, sorry, but so we can remove the tracks. So now what I'm gonna do is go cut the caulk just like I did on the top, all the way down so it's easy to get in and out, and then we'll pull the bottom track. I've got hold right here. We're kind of like a tag team in here. I take out the, uh, the hardware. She's gonna clean everything, get all the caulk off, and uh, prepare this to go back together. Take off the super duper extra sticky tape, which I do the honors. You contributed today. <laughs> Joking, she got all the uh, cock off, which I would not have wanted to do. Well, the reason why we're putting screws in here, even though the directions don't ask for it, is because right where this goes um, is the screw that holds this surround in. And I didn't want just this rod up here with the tension on it. I wanted an actual screw in there. So it just takes a few extra minutes to do it. Okay. We have to measure off on this side, probably did the same thing. So, a few more minutes.
do 42. One eighth is what I need to cut that top one at. Let's do that right now. Yep, so that's 46. So 42 and 1 8. So what kind of saw is this? Hey, saws off. Saws off. Saws off. We are going to 42 and an 8. 42 and an 8. We're going to leave the line. Sharp too. He said it could be hot. Uh, uh -huh. uh, cut it 41 and 8. Did you really? <laughs> cut that right. Does it make it feel better? Doing. Doing. All right, let's see. Let's see what kind of measurer you are. Yeah. Looks pretty crooked. <coughs> let's see. 42 <laughs> and 1 8. Hey, can we lay this flat like that? Maybe, but I'm gonna mark that side. thing to do after you get it like you want it you test it a couple times just uh, make sure you cock it from top to bottom pretty dang good professional 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 can do the same thing on the other side this does the chair so it's a little bit a little bit harder You can pick clear or white. I chose white. Just because I already had it. All right, well, I think that's it. Let it dry. So right now we get rid of the heavy door. We installed the stow it. I'm going to stow it closed. Taking a shower, done. Pull it towards you. Easy, breezy. You got more, more space in here. I like it. Let's see how it holds up with the boys. We'll see y'all later. Bye bye. Bye now. Bye. Bye bye. Bye-bye.
And, uh, <laughs> it's no big deal. You're like killing me. <laughs> Six extra minutes, like 60 of them. 